we've just uh, installed um, a fourth changed or config file that whenever I run VLC with a small V was the error, not a big V, it will automatically go to the screen here, the seven, number seven, workspace seven. And all it takes is a little program, which is called xprop, to run it uh, to find, figure out um, the class. So use xprop to find the class. All right, save. Now I did change VLC, so this movie is about VLC. It, it looks very minimalistic and that's the way I intended it. So right mouse click, play, view, tool lists, playlists, open media. So let's go into the details. Why, what did I change? Let's go to the view. You can also see something I think. Minimal interface. This is what it's normally. View minimal interface what did i do and also let's quickly go over it um i did use use native style show controls and full screen mode integrate video interface start a minimal view i did change this one show system tray icon as this thing if you don't want it when it's gone next time save not yet gone uh, let's quickly test it so Windows D VLC. Okay, this tree is now gone. It does work. And then tools, preferences. So works. This one is a very interesting one. And because look at this uh, gray lookish looking thing. I rather have it GTK plus. Oh, so nice. So it's using my theme now. Also the orange elements that I set in my team remember windows d lx appearance this is my team mint white dark lightning so all the orange things are coming back so that's really good all you need to know is not to take not the windows not the fusion but the gtk done and for the rest i think i didn't change anything so this is my option to well, make it blend in with uh, all the rest. Okay, and that concludes the VLC.